The Princess of Wales brushed off Bean Wolf whistled as she visited Yorkshire today. Kate appeared to hear the distinctive two-note greeting as she waved and smiled to crowds who gathered at Leeds Kirkgate Market to see her. The wolf whistle appeared to register with the future queen but she politely ignored it and kept walking past the stalls to the launch of her new early years campaign. The royal did not seem offended, but the incident came just weeks after it emerged that wolf whistling could be made illegal under a new offense of harassing people in the street, with sentences of up to two years in prison. Home Secretary Suella Braverman announced the move as she insisted perpetrators who stop women feeling safe will face the consequences they deserve. She then spoke to market vendors to mark the launch of her Shapingist project aimed at highlighting the significance of the formative years of a child's life. The long-term initiative, launched on Tuesday by the Royal Foundation Center for Early Childhood, is said to be Kate's life's work, which she hopes will influence attitudes towards children in the early years period of their lives. Later the princess will join a discussion with market sellers and local people to hear about their experiences of early childhood. The princess chose to visit Leeds today as part of the city's ongoing ambition to become the best place in the UK for young people and children to grow up in. In 2012, the city launched Child Friendly Leads with the belief that by investing in and supporting children, young people and their families, the whole city will see immediate and longer-term social and economic benefits. Leeds City Council, working with partners to deliver enrichment programs to improve outcomes, has seen a safe reduction in the number of youngsters being taken into care, more teenagers going into education, employment and training, and better school attendance. Leeds Kirkgate Market opened in 1857 and is home to hundreds of local independent businesses covering everything from fresh fruit and vegetables, butchers, and fishmongers, to a community library, cookery school and volunteer center. During the BAFTA screening last night, the Princess of Wales described the Shapingist program as her life's work. It will explore in more depth the importance of a child's social and emotional world and the significance of relationships, surroundings and experiences. Earlier today, the princess appeared in a new video which was shared on her official social media pages, donning a smart green blazer with a black scoop neck top underneath. She said, our early childhood, the time from pregnancy to the age of five, fundamentally shapes the rest of our lives. But as a society we currently focus much more of our time and energy on later life. Kate explained she is now launching the Shaping Us campaign, adding, to raise awareness of the life-changing impact we can have, when we build a supportive, nurturing world around children and those who care for them. By focusing our collective time, energy and resources on these most preventative years, we can make a huge difference to the physical and mental health and happiness of generations to come.
In the clip, the royal swept her hair into a bouncy blow-dry style, tucking part of it behind her shoulder. Introducing the film last night at a BAFTA screening, the princess said, the campaign is fundamentally about shining a spotlight on the critical importance of early childhood and how it shapes the adults we become. During this time we lay the foundations and building blocks for life. And it is when we learn to understand ourselves, understand others and understand the world in which we live. This is why it is essential, to not only understand the unique importance of our earliest years, but to know what we can all do to help raise future generations of happy, healthy adults.